Hi everyone, we're going to get started here with Head Coach Gio Savarese. Um, Gio, just start us off with your thoughts on this last weekend and tomorrow's Open Cup match. Yeah, the, first of all, thank you uh, for, uh, for being here um, in this press conference. Um, coming out from a, a, a game in which we should have won, a game that uh, we should have gotten the three points, a game that uh, because we were better the, than the opposition, we should have taken care of business and, and, uh, and uh, being a little bit more pragmatic. Uh, we had a lot of the play. We played very well, uh, especially in the second half. Um, and the team seems to continue game by game to get better. Uh, players individually giving better performances and in the collective, um, really good uh, in, in a lot of areas. Um, but, uh, as I said, uh, a game in which we should have gotten three points um, in the way we play and the things that we did. And those three points would have put us in a much better situation in the table. So we cannot allow to you know, give away those, uh, those type of points, uh, especially at home and especially when we play well the way we did this past game. But now, we come in uh, into uh, a stretch that uh, is going to be very, very busy. So we need to make sure that we're ready, um, that everybody is prepared, all the players ready to play, uh, because there's a lot of matches uh, that are coming in our way, and, and we want to stay competitive in every every game that we're going to participate, starting from tomorrow against uh, an RSL team that we know that is, is always uh, competitive, complicated, um, and uh, uh, ready to be able to play. So uh, we prepare very well these two games, uh, these two days, and, and we're ready to, to perform tomorrow. All right, we'll open it up to questions. If you have one, please use the raise hand feature. Um, we'll start with Ryan Clark. Hey, Gio. Um, what's the approach to, to a match like this in such a busy stretch? Um, obviously, going to be some rotation on both sides, but. Um, in, in terms of, of getting the three points in a match like this with this much rotation, what uh, what would be the approach? Uh, the approach is to make sure that we stay uh, steady in the way we we uh, we are evolving and in, in, in the way we we have been getting better. Uh, continue to work in those details, um, making sure that everybody's ready to step on the field and, and perform. And, uh, and the good thing, I think, uh, in this type of stretches is that everybody's going to play. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of guys uh, with a lot of opportunities through these uh, you know, few weeks, and, and everybody has to be able to, to perform and be ready. Uh, so far, they, they, that's what the guys have done. So it is important uh, to continue the same way. Um, and we want to stay competitive. We want to qualify. Uh, to the next round of the U.S. Open Cup. We want to make sure that we get three points this weekend. Uh, but uh, we have to do a lot of detailed work, and, and especially the players need to be very engaged the way they have been so far. And in terms of, of the lineup and in terms of the, the players that are going to be available, um, it, is the plan to, to do like last U.S. Open Cup game, give an opportunity maybe for some T2 guys like Tyler Clegg or... or uh, Victor Griffith uh, to, to call them up and, and potentially have them available for this match. I, I think when you when you have a, a busy stretch, uh, Ryan, uh, we have to definitely uh, look into those uh, possibilities to include some of the players in in one, one way or another uh, in in these games. So that's why we signed Kaliskan uh, with the first team. That way we can have uh, a, a little more depth. Um, and we will continue to look at players from T2 that can help in order to make sure that we have what we need uh, in, in all the matches that we have ahead of us. And um, Dyron obviously was dealing with some, some knee issues, uh, and then Seba had, had not played since that last Open Cup match. Uh, wondering what what their statuses are, how they're progressing, and, and looking ahead of tomorrow. Yeah, both of them are uh, available for selection. Um, they uh, they feel good to uh, you know to play if they need to. Um, so they they will be available for us to make the decision um, if we wanted to include them in the game or not. So um, Seba trained uh, these past two days. Uh, Aspria did as well. Um, so they they're going to continue to be part of the part of the team. Right, next we'll go to Paul Danzer. 
Yeah, Paul, I think uh, in many areas, I think uh, I think that uh, with the ball, uh, we had a lot of the possession, uh, especially in the first half. Um, uh, we possessed somewhere, somewhere around 60% uh, the start 20, 30 minutes of the match. Uh, we, we created good opportunities. We, um, I thought that uh, it put into place, you know, um, good individual performances that end up helping the team. Um, I thought that the little details that uh, that we spoke in the halftime helped us to be a better team in the second half. And uh, and if we put away the the two three clear chances that we had, uh, we could have put the game uh, you know to to the end. Um, you know probably through three one four one and and then uh, you know we don't we don't consider what we did at the end. Unfortunately. Uh, you know, two goals from two crosses. Um, we should have been better in, in that part of it. It was just two moments uh, because they didn't create more than, than than a few of those moments, maybe three or four times. Um, so that that was unfortunate that we couldn't prevent, especially that last one uh, on Bruin. Bruin clever pushed maybe a little bit, tiny bit, to just get in the, the position and uh, score a, a goal. We could have managed the, the game in in that period moment um, a little bit better to make sure that we um, finalize the match. Um, so that those are things that we just have to do better, that we done well before. Like in San Luis, we managed that very well. In this game, could have been a little bit better. So we have to continue to work in, in the path that we are at the moment. Talk about, talk about Dario a little bit, and how is he doing after uh, have a rough outing physically the other night. Which player, I'm sorry? Superich. Oh, Superich, yeah. Yeah. Superich uh, did very, very well. I mean, important that he scored a goal. Important that uh, uh, he didn't get uh, too much in, in, in that moment uh, that I think uh, the the opposition, uh, the, the player that, that went against him uh, passed the shoe over the nose. Uh, and at a moment, uh, it looked like it, it was a little bit uh, going to be worse. But uh, super is tough, uh, and, and at the end, he, he had a very good game. And, and it's important that everyone on, on the field feels you know strong and secure. And, and super, as I said before, besides the goal, uh, had a very good match. Um, it's obviously a positive that you have so many different people scoring. But would you rather see one or two guys kind of? Uh, your forwards maybe continue more consistently. I think, Paul, uh, the ideal world is that we continue to have everybody scoring and we have a few that score a little bit more. So hopefully we can keep that going. Uh, I think it's a good thing that goals are coming from everybody. That says a lot from the team, that we're getting a lot of players in good positions to be able to score. Uh, yes, we do want to make sure that you know our forwards can score a lot of goals and uh, and the players that uh, get a little bit more in the box can participate and, and, and get more goals. Uh, because if we do that, uh, we're already one of the highest teams uh, scoring. Uh, but I think if we can uh, utilize more, you know, some of the moments when we're in the box and, and be more pragmatic, then I think that will help. Uh, on the opposite side, I think we're defending well, but uh, we also have to make sure that we don't concede as much. Um, of course, that we have uh, the second half of Atlanta still in in our record and, and that you know makes it a little more difficult but I think in the way we're defending we're doing much better uh, just uh, you know specific things like you know that second goal uh, and I was I put those two goals uh, against Austin we should have been better um, and we should have uh, managed that situation in a much better way all right Ryan go ahead yeah, Gio, uh, haven't checked in in a while on Felipe Mora's status, how he's doing in terms of his recovery. Obviously, he's been out on the field doing uh, some rehab work uh, with Stephanie. I'm, I'm wondering uh, how that rehab is going and, and what maybe his current timeline looks like. He's looking great. I mean, I, I saw him this morning. He had a, a good, good session. Individual still, he's not practicing with the team. He still would be, I will say, uh, a couple months Um at least to to see him starting to train with the with the team, 
Um, but uh, he's looking strong. He's looking good. He's looking confident. Um, I, I, I have a belief that he's going to be able to come back. Um, that's, that's the feeling that we all have here. Um, and he's working very, very hard, you know, day by day, individually, to get in a good situation in order to, to start training with the team. But as I said, it, it's not something yet uh, in the next few weeks. We're talking about months. All right, we have time for two questions. John, wrap us up. Yeah, thanks. Gracias, Gio, por el tiempo. Um, Gio, probablemente vas a decir que hay que ir partido a partido y ver primero el de Open Cup y luego el sábado, pero con los jugadores regresando y demás, va a ser muy difícil poder poner tu mejor once en ambos, ¿no? O sea, eh, cinco, seis nombres podrían cambiar del uno al otro. Eh, John... Estos momentos son los momentos, como, como bien dices tú, en el cual tenemos que pensar más allá de un solo partido. Eh, es normal porque eh, necesitamos hacer una planificación, es diferente a cuando juegas un sábado y sábado, lo cual te concentran en este partido, después vas viendo cómo se va moviendo la semana para ver cómo te preparas para el siguiente partido. Aquí tenemos que estar pendiente no solamente de este miércoles, del sábado y del próximo miércoles, Uh, también, uh, porque estaremos jugando con RSL la próxima semana otra vez en, en la cancha de ellos el próximo miércoles. Entonces tenemos que estar eh, planificando todo y, y eso puede traer algunos cambios en, en varios partidos. Lo bueno es siempre lo que digo yo, que uh, todos tienen que estar listos, todos que tienen que prepararse bien, porque todos van a tener la posibilidad de, de poder jugar, así que es fundamental que estén preparados. Y eh, también... Eh, tenemos que estar viendo los jugadores de Titu también porque probablemente en ciertos momentos nos van a poder ayudar. Y con esa, con esa, con esa planeación, Gio, con esa periodización, eh, es injusto decir la liga es la liga y, y lo que mejor podamos hacer en la Copa, pues bien. No, tú, tú me conoces. Nosotros... Este, si vamos con la sub-15 a jugar este partido, igual queremos ganar. O sea, independientemente de, de, de la liga, del torneo, de la, de, de la, de la MLS, uh, la, de la temporada, de la League Cup, nosotros queremos uh, ser competitivos para, en, to, en todo lo que participamos y vamos a preparar a los jugadores para ello. Queremos seguir avanzando en el US Open Cup. Uh, pero tenemos que tomar ciertas decisiones, tenemos que ser inteligentes, tenemos que manejar el grupo bien y ponernos siempre en la mejor condición y eso seguramente va a traer rotaciones y cambios, pero siempre con la mentalidad de que vamos a ganar. Y la, la última de mi parte, mencionabas ahora que, que Seba está disponible para ser seleccionable en, en esta ronda de partidos. ¿Es factible que para él sea mejor ahora por la carga eh, los minutos en Copa? Mira, eh, puede ser. Él estaba también en la banca el, este fin de semana. Eh, pudo haber entrado en el partido en los últimos minutos. Eh, yo creo que es bueno seguir viendo su progreso eh, y cómo va avanzando. Eh, así nosotros también entendemos eh, dónde, dónde va llegando y qué podemos conseguir con él. Lo que siempre nos muestra Seba es una... Eh, una competitividad increíble, unas ganas uh, eh, que, que, que contagian y, y la verdad que es un, un jugador que, que nos da muchísimo si está cerca del grupo, si está cerca de cualquier partido y, y cuando está en la cancha eh, le va a poner el corazón para todo lo que va a ser, va, va a ser siempre. Así es él y, y por, eso, por eso es tan querido acá en el, en, en el equipo. All right, sorry guys, we're out of time, so we're gonna wrap it there. Thank you for joining.